guys, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel and happy Saturday. I hope y'all have had an awesome day today and are having a great weekend. Uh, it is currently 10 o'clock on Saturday night and I can't believe it, but my house is empty, at least for a little bit. <laughs> Hubby stepped out and son is at a friend's house, so it's just me and the dog and I decided to take advantage and come on here and do a quick video for y'all. So let's get into it. I have a, a brand new collection, my very first collection from this vendor. This is actually a brand new to me vendor. Had honestly never even heard of this vendor until uh, I saw her on one of my Facebook um, groups as vendor of the week. And so I wanted to give her a try and it is a great scent and that is the business card Heidi is the owner and on the back of my business card how cute is that it's a scratcher a scratch off um, which I haven't had a chance to do yet but I will and I will let you know if I win anything or what it is so super cute um, she also sent me a lollipop so thank you for that I did get an invoice with a note that says, thank you so much for your order, Carrie. I hope you enjoy all of your new goodies. Love, Heidi. I did get a sample. Now, Heidi, not only does she do wax, she also does body care, sugar scrubs, um, you know, things like that. So my sample was a shower steamer. I was so excited. I have used shower steamers before and I love them. This is in the scent Relax, and she does have the scent notes on here, which are pineapple and passion fruit. Oh, that's yummy. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm not sure how much of the passion fruit I get, but I do get a lot of pineapple, and it is good. It's a really pretty flower shape with some glitter. So I am so excited for that. Thank you, Heidi, so much. Now, being a brand new to me vendor, anytime it's a brand new to me vendor, I tend to always start off a little bit small um, until I see you know, how their wax does in my home. So for this particular order, I got six snap bars, a clamshell, and two sugar scrubs. So we will start with the snap bars first. Um, okay, let's see. On her labels, I see company name, scent name, scent notes, the weight, and the pour date. So this scent is Whoville. Scent notes are ripe strawberry, sugar, coconut, butter, vanilla, and maple. Um, I think my eyes are reading this correctly. This is 1.8 ounces and the pour date is April 28th. So almost a month cured. I always go at least a month. Sometimes I'll go a few weeks longer um, just to give it a little extra time to, to cure. And this is so pretty. Look at that. The lime green and the pink. Lime green is my favorite color, love it. Oh, ooh, okay. <laughs> oh, you guys, all right. This, <laughs> that strawberry hits me in the face like crazy. <laughs> wow, I'm not even sure I get coconut or vanilla or maple. I get strawberry and it is strong. It's not a bakery strawberry, you know, a cakey, creamy, that kind of strawberry. This is like a strawberry Jolly Rancher. So, you know, it leans a little bit artificial. Oh, it's strong though. Oh yeah, it's good. I can see putting this on this summer when it's really hot. Oh, that's fun. All right, next we have Wonderland. 
and scent notes are winter berry accord, orange accents, cinnamon, clove nuances, French vanilla, and musk. Now this one here says 1.5 ounces and this one here says 1.8. I'm trying to see. They look the same size to me. Um, so I'm not sure if that's a misprint or, you know, if some of these are actually bigger than others. But uh, pour date is March the 3rd. So this is well cured and ready to go. And Heidi puts some kind of glitter, sparkle, confetti on all of her snap bars. She even decorates the back which you know for me, the more sparkle the better. Ooh, oh that's nice. Okay, there's something in this that is, do I have confetti on me? Um, reminding me of the Winter Bath and Body Works candle. It says here Winterberry Accord, so I don't know if maybe that's what I'm smelling yeah this uh, whew, excuse me this gives me like winter cold outside maybe snowing vibes like I can't see putting this on this summer or in the spring maybe the fall but that's the kind of feeling I'm getting from this I get the cinnamon and I get the clove. It's just a warm, cozy, comforting scent. Yeah, it's it's really nice. Probably will hold on to that for some cooler months, which living in Texas, we never know when that's gonna be. <laughs> All right, next here we have half baked. Scent notes are vanilla, cinnamon, almond, sugar, butter, butter toffee, chocolate, and vanilla cake. And this is another one that says 1.8 ounces. And you know what, now that I'm like comparing the two, I do think these are a little bit heavier than some of these others. So I think that that weight is correct. Uh, pour date, April 28th. This is just your ultimate bakery scent. Just creamy, vanilla. I was gonna say I smell cake. It says here vanilla cake. Oh, it's so good. I do get some cinnamon, but it is, it is not strong at all. So all of you non-cinnamon lovers out there, you could totally do this. Oh, it's just really good delicious. It is delicious. Okay. All right. Next we have apple orchard and the scent notes are green, juicy, tart apples and musk. This is a 1.5 ounce bar poured on, does that say January? I think that says January. If that's the case, then this is really ready to go. Now this one did arrive to be broken, which you know that I could care less about that because I'm going to break them apart anyway, but I do want to show you how pretty it is like just this two-tone of red and green. Oh, oh my goodness. I love this. Oh, you guys, this is awesome. This is not Mac apple. This is not like a red delicious apple. Oh my goodness. This is the juiciest, tartest, green, Granny Smith apple scent. And I love it. Oh, I love this so much. I melt or burn um, all of my apple scents. September, like maybe end of August, beginning of September, because 
to me, I think apple is just the ideal scent to transition from summer into fall. And so this, yeah, I'm going to have to hold on to this until then because I can see putting this on oh, at the end of summer and getting ready for fall. I love this so much, you guys. It's so good. Okay. All right. Next, we have pumpkin apple butter. Scent notes are apple, jasmine, cinnamon, clove, vanilla, and cotton candy. This one, a little bit interesting because I had, I don't think I have ever had a pumpkin scent with cotton candy. That's interesting. Uh, 1.5 ounces poured beginning of March. Another one that arrived to be broken, but that is okay. Look how pretty that is. Okay, this is fun. Oh, yeah. Okay, I definitely get the pumpkin, but this is not like a October pumpkin, and by that I mean to me and to my nose, there are lots of different kinds of pumpkin. You have your bakery pumpkin, you have your um, cinnamon pumpkin, you have pumpkin pie, you have pumpkin spice. And when I say October pumpkin, that to me means the more like, maybe spicy, but like just that pumpkin that makes you think of cooler nights and fall and yeah, this is not that to me. And maybe it's that cotton candy note that's kind of like changing that pumpkin a little bit. Cause this is a pumpkin scent that you could put on anytime. Oh, it's good. It's really good and it's really fun. I'm looking for the apple. I'm not sure I smell the apple, at least not yet. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Um, maybe it is the cotton candy that, that's changing that pumpkin note up a little bit, but that's a good one. Okay, and then the last thing I have here, this is one that on her Facebook page, um, this is one of the scents that got just amazing reviews. Everybody just couldn't stop talking about it. So I was excited. And of course, it's like right up my alley. It's cinnamon buns. Scent notes are cinnamon sugar, cinnamon, butter, and creamy vanilla. 1.5 ounces poured March the 3rd. So this one is ready to go. Okay, I can see what all the hype was about because this is so good. Mm, it's delicious. I, I smell a cinnamon roll or cinnamon bun with that like gooey, drizzly icing on the top. Oh, this is really good. This, you know, would be ideal and perfect for a kitchen, but I'm the kind of person that I could put this on in my living room. You know, it's just that scent that people walk in your house, they walk through the front door and they're like, wow, your house smells really good. Really, you know, warm and inviting. That's this. It's so good. All right, so that is the end of my snap bars. And I also picked up um, a clamshell. Now this is not your typical clamshell because this is a sampler clamshell. It is 2.5 ounces, and so what Heidi did is she took six of her bakery scents, and she put one cube of each of those scents and made a sampler clamshell. Um, two of these scents are ones that were in my snap bars, so I already know I'm going to love those. That was half-baked and cinnamon buns. Um, okay. Now, the only thing about these is I do not have scent notes, so we are just and I have to try to guess. <laughs> All right, this one here is called Dreamer. Okay, I'm not getting bakery from this. 
unless my nose is just not doing what it's supposed to be doing. I am smelling fresh and laundry. It's really good and I like it, but um, if it's supposed to be bakery, I'm not getting bakery from that, but we'll see. Things change on warm, we all know that. Okay, next one is Cranberry Orange Royale. Let's see if I can get this one out. This one is pink. Ooh, yeah, I get that orange. Don't get a whole lot of cranberry. I get a ton of orange though. It's really good. It smells like um like maybe a hot orange danish. Yeah, it's good. Maybe a teeny bit of cinnamon in there. Next one is cran apple pound cake. Ooh, that's good. There's that cranberry note or cran apple note. This one has a lot more of that cinnamon spice. This kind of gives me fall vibes. Love it. Oh, that's good. That's really good. And then the last one is Wildberry Cheesecake. Sometimes cheesecake and wax can scare me because I'm not sure if it's going to come across, you know, as sour. Maybe that milky note. Um, so I don't get it a whole lot. To be honest, I really don't smell any cheesecakey stuff in this. It's kind of light. I maybe get a hint of a berry in here. So we'll see if that one gets stronger on warm, but I just thought the sampler clamshell idea was so super cute. So picked one of those up. Okay. <laughs> going to be paranoid that I have confetti sparkle on me. All right, so the last two things I picked up are two of her sugar scrubs. Um, they are 4.5 ounces, and on her label it says made in Centennial, Colorado, so that is where Heidi is based. Uh, this scent is cotton candy. Let's see if I can get this open. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm not sure if my screen is going to pick these colors up for you, but it is like a pale pink and pale blue, maybe to mimic, you know, the colors of cotton candy. So that's really neat how she did that. Okay, this is light. And I, as far as my sugar scrubs go, I love strong you know I love to put that on my skin and I love for the smell to last and to linger um, this one is a little bit light uh, but you know we'll still use it the colors are really pretty and then the last one I have here um, so if you watched one of my videos maybe a couple of days ago I had talked to you about lavender and how um, I can do lavender if it meets you know, some conditions and some criteria. Can't do herbal. Um, so this one does have lavender, but it's apricot lavender. So I was thinking, okay, maybe mixed in with a fruity note, um, it'll be good. Oh, this is really pretty pink. Oh, that's nice, that's so nice. Oh yeah, oh, that's good. There is no herbal lavender in this, but there's something very calming and soothing, and I get the apricot. So maybe I'm learning that I can do lavender if it's mixed in with like some kind of fruit note, because this is really, really pretty. Very feminine, so I'm gonna enjoy that one. And that is it for my first collection from A Great Scent. So thank you, Heidi, so much for a great order. Um, 
I want to thank y'all for tuning in. If you have not already, uh, please subscribe. I'd love for you to be a part of my channel. Hit that like button and so that you can be notified for more. Um, if I do not see you before Monday, I hope you have a wonderful Memorial Day with your family and your friends. And let's remember what that day is truly about. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Take care, be safe, love each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.